I'm down on deck and when I'm not rehearsing or gigging, I'll listen to Across the Pond. Across the Pond with Bobby Joe and Leslie Young. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> having the time of our life. This is Across the Pond with myself, Les Young, and Across the Pond with Bobby Joe Holman. Hi, Bobby Joe. How are you doing, my friend? Yes, Looking I'm, good. I'm absolutely <laughs> wonderful, thank you very much. <laughs> and we've got a very special Across the Pond uh, show tonight, Bobby Joe, and you as a fantastic harmonica player and uh, um, an author of, uh, was it 18 harmonica books at the moment? Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be right up your street. Because, listeners, um, Across the Pond is sponsoring the harmonica section of this year's British Blues Awards. Yeah, so that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So what we're <laughs> going to do tonight is we're going to play all of the nominees. Um, we're going to play one song, and uh, if you're lucky, um, what we'll actually do is we'll actually post it as a video too, so you can watch it at your leisure or listen to it at your leisure. So there you go. How good is that? Yeah. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to play, like I said, uh, uh, one track from each of the six uh, nominees, and uh, we'll chat a little bit about them, and uh, we'll ask Bobby Joe his expert opinion. And, uh, yeah, that should be good, shouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, then, I'm just giving up uh, uh, the first gentleman in the British Blues Awards harmonica section, and uh, this is a guy called Alan Glenn. Now, Alan... Uh, he's a fabulous harmonica player, he's played all over the world, um, he's done some fantastic things and uh, uh, to quote uh, um, a little message that he sent me, he said uh, these are a few things that are a little or lesser known about himself and uh, his favourite harmonica players are Little Walter, Junior Wells and Kim Wilson, he uses Horner Special Twenties and Lee Oscar Harps, he's allergic to cheese but he's very partial to the large rum and coke He's actually performed <laughs> at the Royal Albert Hall 15 times. How good is that? Wow. Wow, man. At, a, at an open-air gig in Australia with the Yardbirds, an earwig crawled into his harmonica after the sound check. It lodged in his throat after the first number, and he had to nip off stage and uh, throw up to get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. He's, a, he's an honorary member of the Paris chapter of the Hells Angels, and he's recorded as many roots and reggae songs as he has done blues. So, very eclectic uh, gentleman, and uh, he's a very nice fella too. And like I said, he uh, he lives down in London, and he does the odd gigs uh, around the London scene. Uh, but he's stopped touring per se, and uh, so shall we have a look, a little look, and listen to him? Turn your lamp down low. You got the calculator. Turn it 
jump on the stone. Up this morning, I got them stitch but Joe, that was Alan Glenn and the barcodes. What do you think of that? Oh man, very, very, very fine player. Uh, I really was impressed with the upper register stuff. Uh, uh, for your good uh, harmonica players out there listening, uh, they know how difficult uh, that is to do and and make it uh, very interesting. Every note. Uh, especially the the bend notes on the blow bends are, are difficult to to have control over, and he had uh, it was just flawless of the transformation to going from the lower register up to the high register, and then making a a, a really interesting melody line out of it. It's uh, uh, very 
very, very fine player. And, and I liked his, uh, his choice of notes as well as uh, less is more kind of a thing. And uh, uh, he, he, what he played, you obviously could hear of he's a master of the harmonica and the tones. So he gave you the tones that he wanted you to hear. You know, yeah. He, he also was playing uh, lead guitar there too. Oh my goodness. And was he singing as well? Uh, yeah, the uh, him and uh, the uh, uh, keyboard player in the bar notes were uh, were sharing the vocals. So yeah. Oh my God! Well, yeah, yeah, well established the guy. Boy, just a very very fine player. No wonder he he's played Albert Hall fifteen times. You yeah. know, it's just uh, indeed. Um, yeah, and you could tell that just he's the master of it, so he could play in any kind of. Uh, genre any kind of music he's yeah. just there yeah. indeed very nice so on to our next uh, nominated uh, harp player and that's uh, last year's winner paul lamb now paul lamb uh, hails from my area of england up in the northeast uh, coast there from uh, a town called blythe and uh, paul started playing uh, the harmonica at the age of 15 and uh, by the age he was uh, of 20, he was out on the road playing harmonica with uh, all kinds of people. And he played with some of the great, great blues artists. And uh, uh, more recently, he's played alongside of uh, Mark Knopfler and Dire Straits and uh, also done his own uh, productions as well. So he's, uh, he's a great chap and uh, he plays with a band. His band's called the King Snakes and he tours extensively, especially around Europe. And uh, so we're going to we'll have a listen, listen to this one. This one's called uh, Preaching the Blues. <laughs> Yeah, she won't meet me back, back in the mall My baby leaving Yeah, she won't meet me back, back in the mall What gonna hurt, hurt me so bad That she gone with Mrs. So-and-so I'm begging you, darling Sugar, please, please don't go Well, I'm begging you, darling Sugar, please, please don't go Well, when you walked out, darling Then your young blues come calling my door I walk down the road First I could see Man have a woman Blues had me Why is ain't no loving Ain't no getting along Everything I done She said it was wrong I told you darling Long time ago You want to reap Or what you sow Or what you sow Oh, what you sow? Oh, what you sow? Oh, what you sow? Someday, sweetheart, you wanna reap? Oh, what you sow?
Well, there you go, Bobby Joe. What, what did you think of that one? <laughs> <laughs> well, once again, it's uh, uh, another masterful player. I loved his uh, his overtones of uh, Howlin' Wolf and the vocals, and then uh, his playing has got the, uh, the overtones of a, a, a Rice Miller, uh, A.K. Sonny Boy Williamson number two there i even got a little bit of one uh uh in him as well it's just uh, uh, a great acoustic uh, rhythmic um uh playing it's it just fits the song his vocals everything i could i could see why he won last year <laughs> yeah absolutely yeah. if you, if you yeah. go onto his uh, website uh, paul lamb and the king snakes and uh, there in the bio it tells you everyone that he's played with i mean you know he's played with some of the greats and obviously picked up uh, an awful lot of uh, of their influence too right yeah and it, that does it just uh when you have the honor to play with with these these master bluesmen uh it and then his talents you know it just it just you start sucking up everything up and then you're there you've got it and you're you're in that mode you know yep indeedy okay then on to our third nominee and this is steve west weston and uh, Steve, he lives down uh, uh, near London as well, and uh, he's another uh, uh, fabulous, fabulous harmonica player. He actually started uh, um, um, in the music industry by playing piano, and uh, graduated from piano and went on to play in the, uh, um, the harmonica. And uh, quite recently, he's played alongside uh, Roger Daltrey from The Who and uh, Wilbur Johnson from Dr. Feelgood. So uh, again, um, famous artists are recognising that these guys are the bee's knees and then inviting them along to play on, on their albums and on their gigs. Wow. This one is a bit of a long one, this one. Um, and, uh, it's about nine minutes long, Bobby Joe, but it's uh, two songs glued together uh, called She's a Killer and Don't Get Around Much Anymore. This is Steve West Weston. <laughs>
You go ahead, you take a look, that's what you want to do. But don't come back crying when your head is in a mess. She can make a saint a sinner and a sinner to confess. She's a killer. That's all I gotta say. When I'm my baby, she's a killer. And she'll take your breath away.
even at that o'clock, it's time for us to take our first refreshment break. But we're going to be right back with you with two more shows playing right up to the early hours. One more time. That S moves on the drums here. Henrik on the electric bass. How about Ronnie Boyson on the guitar? Yours truly, Chris Boyson on the harmonica. There you go, Bobby Joe. What did you think of that one? Oh, very, very nice. Uh, that's one of the wonderful things about uh, having a, a contest because you have all these different styles. Now, this cat was very melodic, he had quite uh, just a, a flawless control of the of the notes, uh, bending notes, and the flowing melodic lines that he played. Uh, wonderful playing and uh i like his uh, uh once again I, I i like his his choice of notes and then oh you're breaking up a bit there bobby joe did, uh, oh, okay uh, can you hear me now yeah i'm sorry about that listeners yes this okay. is the uh the vulnerability of doing a skype conversation <laughs> <laughs> Over six thousand miles away, too. <laughs> yeah, yes, so. indeed. Yes, I, I might just uh, uh, make a point there, listeners, that uh, I'm in my studio in Sheffield in uh, UK, and Bobby Joe is across in Nevada, I believe. Is it Nevada, or California, in this time? Yeah, uh, Nevada. In Nevada. Good so, uh, yeah. So we're over. We're over six thousand miles away, going live, and uh, uh, I was just saying, I don't know if you caught it, but. Uh, uh, the uh, Wes, he's just uh, um, very melodic. Uh, really enjoyed his his uh, melodic playing and the choice of notes that he made and where he where he played him within the the two pieces. Yeah, it's very, very good indeed. And uh, there's always a, a lot of uh, um, sort of like social media outbursts when when Steve hasn't been nominated for the uh, uh, the best harmonica player in the British Blues Awards. But hey, they all can't win it. <laughs> yeah, well, that's exactly right. You know, and it is, and it's tough. And and you and uh, our good listeners, they have to obviously. I'm sure that they realize that. Just because the person wins doesn't mean that these other players are not masterful players. Absolutely. It's just maybe their their choice of songs, their that they they have to make a choice, and so if they go with their in, their gut instincts and what they like, and uh, uh, but uh, the three that I've heard so far are just incredible players, and you can see why they're always out there working. And uh, because the people will come to hear somebody play the, the way that they do. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, we've got another fabulous three harmonica players coming up. Now, everyone can, can vote in the British Blues Awards. You don't have to be living in Britain or be a British national. You can vote from anywhere in the world. So if you go to www.britishbluesawards.co.uk, you can pick up the voting form which is on the uh, on the toolbar at the top so get yourself in there and why not cast your your vote for the uh, uh, not only for the best harmonica player that you think but there's other categories like uh, best male vocalist female vocalist guitarist songs etc etc so there yeah. you, go. you can have a good old uh, rake around have a look and cast your vote well yeah that's uh, that's great uh, news to know because Obviously, uh, people think when they hear British blues, well, then I have to be 
in Britain or I have to be over in Europe. But, uh, so once again, uh, good listeners, uh, just like uh, uh, my partner Les said, that anyone can vote. So get on there and uh, and uh, check these cats out, you know, because they're they're out there, they're out there in the trenches, they're 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 living that life. And uh, to even be nominated uh, in such a prestigious um, awards uh, as the British Awards, man, that's an honor within itself. Absolutely, indeed it is. So on we go to uh, number four in our list of nominees. And this is a guy called uh, Trevor Steger. And uh, he plays in a band called Baba Jack along with his wife, Becky. And uh, the two lovely people, I've interviewed them a, a few times and shared a few beers with them many times. And like I say, lovely people. Now, this track here is called The Money's Not Gone. And uh, Trevor Steger also makes box guitars, you know, out of wine boxes and, c yeah. and cigar wow. boxes and things. So this track you'll be hearing, or if you're lucky enough to be seeing this, it's uh, Trevor is playing his, uh, his box guitar and the harmonica simultaneously. Aren't people skillful? I have trouble blowing my nose. <laughs> Here we go. This is Baba Jack with uh, nominee number four, Trevor Steger, and the money's all gone. <laughs> Put your hands in. 
How is that, Bobby Joe? <laughs> yeah, man. You know, and I do. Uh, I, I play a little bit uh, with the uh, <clears throat> the uh, harmonica rack, you know, around your neck and mm -hmm. stuff. And uh, what he was doing is it, 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 is uh, was very masterful because it is very very difficult to you got to split your brain on the two different instruments of of being complementary to each other and not not getting in in the way of each other and uh what he is playing those licks and the rhythm and then uh, uh it, it's so much fun because in my playing you'll hear different influences and i heard just a little bit of john mayall uh, the rhythmic chica 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 stuff that uh, that he incorporated in and then playing the guitar at the same time, man. It's uh, uh, very, very good, you know, <laughs> very, very good. And it's it's difficult to do and make it interesting. And and uh, uh, where also it's 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 comfortable to listen to. And uh, because when you have those two different instruments. And you are the one that's providing uh, both voices. Uh, as I say, it's it's real difficult, and I thought he did really well with it. Yep, he's uh, a, a master of uh, a lot of things. He's also a, a fantastic furniture maker too. Really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So there you go, a multi-talented person. <laughs> Okay yeah. then, here we go then. This is uh, nominee number five. This is a guy called TJ Norton. Now TJ is another lovely, lovely fella. He, uh, if, if you remember Bobby Joe, I sent you some music a while ago and it was uh, TJ Norton and his suitcase. Because he, and his uh, suitcase. Yeah. yeah, he turns <laughs> up with his suitcase and he's got everything in it, all his harps, he's got his little amplifier and he's got uh, his stomp box and everything and he makes yeah. an absolutely <laughs> fabulous fabulous noise well i shouldn't really call it noise should i it's just fabulous <laughs> music now tj right. tj is uh, uh recently got married and he's now living in la so he's not too far away from you yeah i saw that and i uh, congratulated him on that uh i did uh uh, when we listen to the, the track, it, it is once again mat very masterful of how he can play so much music and get th these uh, these musical ideas across and make them very uh, listenable. And it's just harmonica and him stomping on a on a uh, tambourine, you know, <laughs> you know, or that bass that bass drum thing. So yeah, uh, very... looking for this. He's a very talented lad, and he's just uh, recently been on a blues cruise. So you know, you've got to have some talent to get on one of those. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay then, uh, this is uh, T.J. Norton, and uh, this is a track of his uh, last EP, which was the title track, and it's never given up. Yeah. I've 
I've lost friends and family and it hurts so bad Gotta make the most of every day I have now But I'm never giving up No, I'm never giving up No, I'm never giving up I'm never giving up, oh, yeah I'm never giving up, Lord. No, I'm never giving up. No, I'm never giving up. I'm never giving up. No, I'm never giving up. There you go, TJ Norton. That was fab. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, he when he plays, and uh, good harmonica players out there, uh, you all know that he he really is breathing into it. Mm -hmm. So, in other words, uh, his his the rhythmic. That's why it's so big and rich. Is because uh, oh, oh, he's, he's he's bringing it, 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 the notes into him and blowing them out and uh, and that's a uh, that's very difficult to do and he he just is exciting. It's the uh, the tune that little you know you're 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 up and jumping and and it's it's uh it's very fun to just hear he's just blowing harps singing and then. Stomping on his little bass thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a, it. yeah, it's fantastic. What a full sound he can create with just his voice, a tambourine, a, a stomp box, and uh, his harmonica. Absolutely fabulous. Yeah, right. Yeah, for sure. And this is just to remind our listeners that uh, um, you'll find uh, this show on uh, Mixcloud under Global Entertainment and Media. And we'll also be putting other shows from the Global Entertainment and Media family in there. That'll be uh, my uh, uh, other show called Wall to Wall Blues. And uh, Bobby Joe's Chilling with Bobby Joe, a fabulous show from Nevada. Absolutely, <laughs> and there'll be others added in there when uh, we find the talent, and uh, yeah, of course we only use the best. Okay, there then. You go. Here mm -hmm. we go. This is the last of the nominees in the British Blues Awards Harmonica section for 2015. Don't forget, you can cast your vote at www.britishbluesawards.co.uk and you can pick up the voting form on the toolbar there. You don't have to be British, you don't have to live in Britain, you can live on the moon and still vote. So there you go. There you go. <laughs> okay then, our last nominee is a guy called Will Wilde. Now, Will Wilde also has a very, very talented uh, sister called Danny Wilde. She's a super guitarist. She's signed up with Rough Records, as I believe uh, Will is as well. And uh, I've interviewed uh, Danny a few times, and I was more surprised to find out that uh, none of her parents are uh, musical, and she uh, she reckons it's uh, her granddad that uh, she got the musical talent from. And it's obviously passed on to her brother, Will. And uh, Will and uh, uh, Danny play together quite a lot of the time, but this one is actually Will's band, and uh, I believe this track was actually recorded in Hamburg. And the track is called What Makes People.
what makes people do the things they do What makes people do the things they do Well, it's the very thing that makes my baby love me like she do What makes people say the things they say What makes people say the things they say Oh, it's the very thing that makes that guitar play I tell you what, I, I would sure uh, hate to be a judge because uh, all six of these cats were just 
masterful, masterful players. And, and uh, I guess it gets down to, you know, what, what uh, phrasing and what notes do a judge, you know, particularly care for. I really liked his, uh, his right in your face uh, uh, beginning and where it's, you know, just, just there and get you, get you, make, and it's uh, like making you listen, listen to me right now, you know, kind of a thing. And, and uh, you could, you can tell the, the, his perspective of playing music and how he, he wants you to, to go with him uh, on this journey and uh, just very fine playing, very, very fine playing. And the uh, going from the kind of a, uh, uh, electric harp thing at the beginning and then then switching over and acoustically where you're back and off of the microphone and then back into the electric you know in into it again <laughs> yep indeed and uh, uh, he will actually told me that uh, he does everything the wrong way he holds the harmonica in the wrong hand he he does everything just uh, the the opposite to which, you know, to what the, uh, the 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 masters do it, um, but he creates an absolutely fabulous, fabulous piece of music. You know, I, I excuse me, I um, I'm glad that you told me that because some of the great great players that, and especially the one that really got me going, was Paul Butterfield. And so what Will is is saying to you is it tells me right off that he's left-handed. And so you put it in your left handed, but then you have to turn it upside down and backwards to where you have the low notes are uh, closest into your hand, you know, right in here on the, for, uh, um, excuse me. On, so if he's left handed, he's, he's holding it. Uh, let's see, I held it like this. So he, he'd hold it on his right hand and you have to reverse it. So he's playing it. And uh, another one, uh, uh, William Clark, fabulous, fabulous player. So I've tried to uh, try to uh, analyze it. And I think, well, maybe by doing it like that, that maybe your choice of notes are a little bit different. But uh, I, uh, you know, it's just a little theory. But uh, what you can hear that masterful playing. You know, Sonny Terry was another one because he was blind. He just picked it up and started playing it. Well, it happened to be upside down and backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous. So there we go, listeners and, uh, and viewers, if you uh, are actually watching this on YouTube. Um, those are the six nominees for this year's British Blues Awards in the harmonica section, sponsored by Across the Pond. Yes, sponsored by myself and Bobby Joe. So there you go. So yes. Once again, the nominees were Alan Glenn, Paul Lamb, Steve West Weston, Trevor Steger from Babajack, TJ Norton, and Will Wilde. So there you go. Like Bobby Joe says, my goodness, you have got one hell of a task ahead of you. <laughs> <laughs> so listen to them again. Please, uh, you know, give them due diligence and get yourself on to Tinternet and uh, www.britishbluesawards.com, sorry, .co.uk, and uh, there you'll find the voting form and cast your votes. Well, yes, please do that. Yeah, indeed. Well, thanks ever, much, ever so much, Bobby Joe, for uh, joining us this evening. And uh, next week we'll be uh, across the pond again, and we'll be bringing the listeners some fabulous, fabulous music. Yes, yes. Well, it was it's just such a an honor, and thank you for the, this opportunity to 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 hear these cats play, and and then. Uh, uh, giving me uh, a little time to throw my little two cents in, but uh, uh, what a great show! What a great choice of uh, these players, and uh, any one of them uh, deserve to, to the, be the winner. You know, they're just all very, very good. Man. I, thank you, brother, for let me be a part of it. No, thank you very, very, very much for uh, your uh, uh, expert analytical. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I'm going to go home and practice now. <laughs> <laughs> it's been absolutely fabulous, Bobby Joe, and uh, thank you ever so much for that. So we'll see you later. Okay, brother.
Good talking with you. Okay, then. And uh, like I said, listeners, we'll be back with you next week for another Across the Pond. And until then, you take care of each other and cheerio.